Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of the week, today's broadcast. It is taking place the session of the second convocation of the Western Armenia Parliament. The President of Western Armenia congratulated Nikol Pashinyan. The speech of the President of Western Armenia, Armenek Abrahamian, to the memory of Gabriel Davud. Armenek Abrahamian participated in the Christmas ceremony which took place in Mandelulian Apul. In Indonesia, it took place the presentation of the photo book Armenian Land of Legends. Legends, Island of Lim of Lake Van. Armenek Abrahamian visited football players of Western Armenian national team. As we have already mentioned, it is taking place the session of the second convocation of the Western Armenia Parliament. Newly elected deputies took part in the swearing-in ceremony and got their credentials. There is a live connection between Yerevan, Geneva and Beirut. The president of the Western Armenia, Armenek Abrahamian, addressed all the deputies, congratulated them and represented his report of the past five years from Geneva. According to the agenda, it was also elected new president of the National Assembly, Ahvan Tonakanyan. Today on January 19, the Parliament chose Armenak Abrahamian as President of Republic of Western Armenia and Garnik Sarkisyan as Prime Minister of the State. The Parliament of Eastern Armenia has met for the first time since the elections of the last month. During the parliamentary session, Nikol Pashinyan was appointed in the post of Prime Minister. Nikol Pashinyan won in the parliamentary elections held in December by strengthening his reputation after coming to power as a result of last year's peaceful revolution. In his speech, President Armen Sarkisyan stated that the elections provided the parliament with a great legitimacy. According to the press service of the Prime Minister, during his his meeting with the President Pashinyan said, The main political change in the Republic of Armenia has already taken place. The power is fully returned to the people, and democracy is established in Armenia. The President of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, congratulated Nikol Pashinyan for being elected in the post of Prime Minister. He said, Today, more than ever, both sides of Armenia need to be intelligent enough to concentrate their efforts on bringing together all the children of Armenia, ensuring future and security for them. I congratulate Mr. Nikol Pashinyan on his appointment as Prime Minister within the framework of these national efforts, stated President Armenek Abrahamian. State television company of Western Armenia represent the complete video of the funeral of Gabriel Davud from the church to the cemetery recorded on the street of his city. Gabriel Davud was a member of a military academy of Western Armenia. He fought in the street battles of Hamishli, defending the Armenian and Syrian districts of the city. On one of the central streets of Hamishli has opened a monument dedicated to the memory of the fighter. President of Western Armenia Armenak Abrahamian gave posthumous honorific state award to the brave soldier, handing it to his parents. Gabriel fell during the protection of the people of Syria and Western Armenia. We live for him because he lived for us. Rest in peace, brave soldier. Eight days after Christmas, on January 13, the Armenian Apostolic Church celebrates the Feast of Naming of Jesus Christ. The Armenian Circle of Mandelula Napul has organized a celebration to mark Christ's birth and baptism. On this occasion, Deputy Mayor Mr. Vilan Lunga, City Councilor Mrs. Pascal Billing, and President of Western Armenia Armenak Abrahamian congratulated and sent their best wishes to the Armenian community in front of over 100 guests. In this occasion, Armenak Abrahamian represented his speech. Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, 2018 was a year of the legislative elections in Western Armenia, during which our deputies were elected for five years. Now we are experiencing the moments of revival, which are full of hopes and new beginnings. After the 100th anniversary of the Great War, 2019 will be the year of the 100th anniversary of the Peace Conference. Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, dear compatriots, France is living a relatively uncertain period, but history shows that France and French people with their intelligence, their pragmatism and solidarity have always faced the challenges and hardships of life. Experience shows that no matter what, friendship and solidarity will allow us to overcome all the hardships of life. Happy New Year! Long live France, long live Western Armenia, mentioned Armenak Abrahamian at the end of his speech. 
The Armenian Embassy in Jakarta, in collaboration with the Antara News Agency, launched a photo book entitled Armenia Land of Legends. The aim of the book is to introduce Armenia to the Indonesian people. Geographically, Armenia's population is indeed small when compared to Indonesia. There are not even historical connections, but the real challenge is to explain the wealth of natural beauty and Armenian culture to the Indonesian community extensively, mentioned director of Antara news agency. The ambassador of Armenia to Indonesia, Dunik Agajanyan, also expressed her hope that the photo book would become an entry to Indonesian people who did not know Armenian comprehensively. Lim is an island in the northeast of Lake Van, one kilometer away from the shore. Formerly it was connected to the land but it was separated as a result of the water level rise. Here, in 1622, Nurses Mokati founded the desert and school which survived until 19th century. The architectural complex was called Lim Desert. St. Gevorg Church was built by Zakaria Catholicus. From western side, the church has four-sided gavit which was built by the initiative of Hovanes Mokati. From the wall of the gavit opens a door which leads to the architect St. Sinon's little church. From the former complex, only Gavit and western part of the main church were preserved. During the genocide against Armenians, about 20,000 women and children crossed the island in three days and their passage was guarded by several Armenian Fidein units. As we have already announced, the national team of Western Armenia had a camp in Marseille from 3 to 10 January, during which the team had two friendly matches. President Armenak Abrahamian in those days was also in Marseille to support the players with his presence. He talked with the players about the importance of playing in the national team and representing our homeland. In his speech he mentioned, you represent your people, your homeland and your values. I am proud of you all, you are united under the flag of Western Armenia and with this spirit we should represent our homeland in the upcoming championship of Confederation of Independent Football Associations, which will take place in Artsakh. Goodbye, this is all for today.